Hi, I'm Michael Leidick from Back to the Future Trading, and welcome to another Ninja Trader Unplugged episode. I've been getting a lot of emails and questions about indicators that come with Ninja Trader that help with support and resistance. And I've set up a special template here for everyone available in our download section that may help with that. One of the most popular instruments we see traded with Ninja Trader is Crude Futures. And so I want to show you what I've got set up here. It's actually very helpful. There are only two indicators in our uh, indicator chart box today. One is the free EMA slope color indicator that I give away in our Ninja Trader Unplugged Dropbox. The other is a standard raw, naked, no additives or preservatives, plain Jane Ninja Trader indicator called Swing D. And the Swing D indicator plots lines that represents swing high and low points. Now, what I've done here is I've set the strength of the Swing D to 15. It's a relatively large number considering the default value was 5. I've gone back and I've also changed the colors of those lines to gold and black, matching the colors of my slope uh, EMA when... Uh, it changes direction so black when it's down gold when it's up also matches my bar color and I find that a chart that's really clean and intuitive that way helps making trading decisions easier so let me show you a technique that you can use that's going to be really helpful for you especially if you want to begin incorporating support and resistance in your trading go back to the previous day's session so I'm sliding the cursor backwards and you'll see that I've got some lines here from the previous session. The pit opens at 9 o'clock and runs all the way through to 3 o'clock in the afternoon based on the CME hours. But what I want you to do is this. Go into your drawing toolbox. Click on where it says stay in draw mode so you don't have to go back and forth multiple times. Or you can just hit F3 if you want and activate the ray tool. The ray tool. And what the swing tool has done is it said, hey, objectively speaking, these were the biggest swings in CL on this day. And so one of the things I can do is now that this day is over, I can take the ray tool and sort of work my way from left to right and capture that information but more than capturing what I'm doing is projecting that information forward into today's trading session so if I look between 9 and 12 o'clock usually where most of the volume resides that information is exposing some things right think about what these lines represent they represent sort of the balance between what supply and demand it means that as market movers were pulling back there were a lot of traders willing to purchase at that price and so there is a reaction away from that level think of it like getting too close to an explosive charge with a match if you get within a few inches of it there's a big reaction and conversely as price moved higher up into this area there were plenty of people just sort of sitting here a reservoir of supply people willing to cash out and take profit and so these areas become important because theoretically when we tack them in the future like we see over here there is a reaction again away that pool most cases of supply and demand those people waiting to sell waiting to buy contracts standing orders are still there and so if you just extend those rays for the three hours and slide back over into today the most current price action look at what's available in terms of where price has been bouncing to make this even easier to see I'm going to take the swing tool off and the moving average away 
Do you notice the price levels uh, so far where the market has been bouncing, especially here just as we come into the pit open? You notice that there's reactions off of the 4785 level. Not so much here, a few bounces, a breakthrough, a retest, but then a bounce there. And then once again, one, two, three, four, five, six retests of 47.29. So all along the way, you can see that the market stopped and retested those levels from the previous day. It's a really useful exercise. It doesn't require any heavy lifting or extra money spent on other indicators that can give you some really good insight into the levels where we could expect to see buyers and sellers popping in again. If you want this template, just simply download it from our Ninja Traders, Ninja Trader Unplugged uh, Dropbox. Those instructions will be in the video down below. Remember, trading is a hard thing to do. Take your time, go slow, uh, give yourself the freedom and the grace to make mistakes and explore things like this. Eventually, one of them is going to resonate and you're really going to lock in and dial into it and make it work for you. I'm Michael from Back to the Future Trading. This has been another Ninja Trader oh, unplugged episode. Thanks again.